The um, thing that's hardest for me to um, deal with is that the person who did this knew that these kids wouldn't be going home to their parents mm. and no parent should have to bury their child, mm. not, not in any, any circumstance. And um, it's a sick and heinous act, yeah. you know. Th those kids, th they don't deserve, th no one deserves that. No. And um, yeah, like I said, that, that's the hardest thing when I see those mm. stories and the photos and I just think, you know, you, this is just unacceptable. And it, Greg Barton touched on it in our discussion earlier, but what's, what's the best way for Australia as a, as a nation to, to, uh, to work with the Islamic community given so much rests on that intelligence, the human intelligence from fellow members of that community, from someone who might be radicalised, Ed, first year? Well, I think, um, you know, people of all faiths would be horrified and would um, feel deeply about what's happened and would want to work together to ensure that something like this, you know, the chance of this reoccurring doesn't happen. There are a lot of people um, uh, that, you know, will provide information and should be encouraged and supported to provide any information that they believe might lead um, to stopping someone undertaking a terrorist act. Um, and I would, um, you know, uh, urge people to do that. You see anything, you hear anything, you report it, and they do. And in some cases, it's parents reporting um, their deep concerns about what they're seeing potentially in their own children, um, an idea, uh, a potential for an act. And so they, they take the step of reporting in their own children. That is you know, that that is a sign of people that do not want to see harm brought to others and we should be encouraging it.